Hi, everyone. This is Jack Drees, and we're at Lafayette, Indiana, home of Purdue University's undefeated Boilermakers, who today tangle with Notre Dame. A capacity crowd is streaming into ross Aid Stadium to watch these Indiana rivals with Notre Dame the underdog against the team that leads the Big Ten Conference standings. A welcoming roar greets the high-riding Boilermakers as Purdue makes its pregame entrance. A tie with Penn State, then consecutive wins over Ohio State and Iowa makes up the unbeaten record Purdue brings to this game today. There's plenty of rooting strength from nearby South Bend to welcome the fighting Irish of Notre Dame teed up for this one today, although their chances going into the game are regarded as slim. Stars for Purdue include punter Norm Montgomery and, of course, Dale Samuels, brilliant Boilermaker quarterback. Fullback Max Schmeling provides the horsepower for Purdue's ground attack. Samuel's opposite number is Irish quarterback Ralph Guglielmi. Number 14 is the star of the backfield, Johnny Latner. And keeping a watchful eye on the warm-ups is Notre Dame's coach, Frank Leahy. Co-captain Phil Matei of Purdue shakes hands with Notre Dame's Jim Alessandrini, number 68, as they gather at midfield for the toss of the coin. The ground rules explained, we're ready for the toss. There's a lot to know about football rules before you're an expert. For example, how much do you know about the official signals and penalties? Watch this. What happened on that play? Those who know football know this signal means clipping. When a player is clipped from behind, he is unable to defend himself properly and may be seriously injured. The penalty for clipping is 15 yards. And the penalty for using a poor gasoline is poor performance. But those who know gasoline know that Phillips 66 gasoline is a combination of smooth working elements. In fact, it gives you special high test fractions, each with a job to do. One gives you easy starting. Another, fast engine warm up. Another of these high test Phillips 66 elements gives you rapid acceleration. And still another gives you full power on the straightaway. These high test elements provide extra miles of driving enjoyment in every gallon of Phillips 66 gasoline. Stop in for a tank full tomorrow where you see this orange and black 66 shield. And now the scene is set for the beginning of the game. On the sidelines, Purdue gathers around coach Stu Holcomb. While across the field, Frank Leahy has some last words for the Irish. Notre Dame, having won the toss, has elected to kick off. Al Kohanowicz kicks, and let's watch this opening kickoff on our slow-motion camera. Rex Brock is waiting for it on the Purdue five-yard line. He gathers in the ball, his blocking swings in in front of him, and he's back up the field across the 15 now. Moving to the 20, he's hit and fumbles, and Notre Dame recovers. Jack Lee gets the ball for the Irish. And Notre Dame comes away with the first big break of the game. It's a tough break for Stu Holcomb on the Purdue bench. But Notre Dame takes possession first and ten on the Purdue 24-yard line. Pitch out goes to Joe Heap, trying it around right end. The Purdue defenders are coming up. He's in trouble early and is dropped for a loss of two yards. That'll make it second down and 12 for Notre Dame on the Purdue 26. Tom Carey in at quarterback for the Irish. Joe Heap gets the ball once again across the 25, down to the 20, to the 15, and he's rolled to a halt after he goes for a first down for Notre Dame. First and 10 for Notre Dame. They're on the Purdue 13-yard line. Johnny Leitner taking a pitch out, swinging around wide to the left. He gets around the corner, but he is knocked out of bounds after a gain of seven yards. That makes it second down to three. And again, we turn to our slow motion camera to watch Johnny Lattner as he takes the handoff and fumbles the ball. It's bounding into the end zone. Nobody's got it yet. And it's recovered by Notre Dame in the end zone as Frank Baraccioni gets on it for a Notre Dame touchdown. Notre Dame flashes into the lead six to nothing. And now with Tom Carey holding, Menel Mavrides tries the extra point and it's good. Notre Dame 7, Purdue nothing. Then Purdue received the opening kickoff, moved up the field, and now have the ball second down, but 21 yards to go. They're on the Notre Dame 46-yard line. 
Dale Samuels, the Boilermaker quarterback, back to throw. He's being rushed, gets the pass off on the run. Jerry Thorpe is the target. It's complete. Good for a gain of 18 yards. They're down. Three yards to go now for Purdue. They're on the Notre Dame 28-yard line, and the Irish are out in front, 7 to nothing. And off to the fullback, Max Schmeling. He cracks over right tackle, goes through for a gain of two yards. Paul Reynolds and Jack Lee had a warm greeting for him. Brought him down after the short gain, and it's Purdue's ball. Fourth down and one yard to go on the Notre Dame 26. Dale Samuels calls on the power boy again. Max Schmeling cracking the left side of the line for a first down. First and ten. Purdue's ball on the Notre Dame 23-yard line. Bill Klesek takes the handoff, slides out wide to the right, and is rolled out of bounds, just on the other side of the 20. Dale Samuels dropping back, looking for a target, his left end, Bernie Flowers is in the clear, there's the ball, and it is a touchdown for Purdue. <laughs> Look at those Boilermaker hats go up in the air. Seven to six now. The try for point coming up. Phil Matea to hold. Dale Samuels will try for the kick. Samuels boots it and it is good. Look for name seven. Purdue seven. Now Purdue will kick off to the Fighting Irish. Jim Reichardt kicking. Lofts one high in the air. It's falling a little bit short. Joe Heap moves in under the ball. Takes it on the 17-yard line. He's hit. Fumbles the ball, but it rolls out of bounds. Still Notre Dame's ball. Out of bounds on the 32, and it'll be first and 10 for Notre Dame at that point. Ball game all tied up at seven apiece. Notre Dame's ball first and 10 on their own 32. And off to the fullback, Neil Warden. He cracks right guard, runs into a stiff defense, but edges forward for a gain of three yards to make it second and seven. Tom Carey back to throw. Don Penza the target. There goes the ball, but it's knocked down. Incomplete. Curtis Jones breaking up the play for Purdue. Third and seven. Notre Dame has the ball just beyond their own 35-yard line. They go into punt formation with Johnny Latner back deep to do the kicking. Long pass from center. Latner has time to get the kick away. Lifts one high in the air. Notre Dame forwards have plenty of time to get down under the ball. Phil Mateo calls for a fair catch. But a penalty nullified that play. The ball came back, and now Notre Dame has the ball first and 10, and they're on the Purdue 39-yard line. Tom Carey dropping back to pass once again. Flips a little flat pass out to his fullback, Neil Warden. Warden almost drops, stays on his feet, stays inside the sidelines. Goes for a gain of 13 yards. It's a first down for Notre Dame on the Purdue 26-yard line. Johnny Latner takes it this time, threads his way through a narrow hole in the line, gains four yards. Second down and six on the Purdue 22. The ball game tied up at seven apiece. Joe Heap takes the handoff this time, slides out wide to the right, gets across the line of scrimmage, but not much further. Dropped for a gain of three yards. Third down and three yards to go for Notre Dame on Purdue's 19-yard line. Joe Heap taking it again over the left side of the line. Goes for a gain of five yards and a first down. The fumble came after the play. Still Notre Dame's ball. First and ten for the Irish on the Purdue 14-yard line. Fullback Neil Warden taking this one. Blasts his way through for a gain of seven yards. Look at that boy wrestle. Earl Henninger finally brought him down. Second down and three now. Ball on Purdue's seven-yard line. It's the surprising Irish of Notre Dame. Roaring again toward that goal line and on a shift. Purdue was drawn offside, came charging across, and that's a penalty that gives Notre Dame another first down. First down and goal to go. Notre Dame's ball on the Purdue two-yard line. Let's watch it in slow motion. Hand off to the fullback, Neil Warden. 
Busting through the right side of the line. He's into the end zone for the touchdown. Notre Dame leads 13 to 7. I'm carried a hold on Notre Dame's try for point. Manel Mavrides kicking. Kick is in the air and the kick is good. And that ends the first quarter of play. Notre Dame 14, Purdue 7. As we pick up the play in the second quarter, Notre Dame once again has the ball. This time second down, 10 yards to go on their own 31-yard line. Joe Heap taking the handoff, swinging around, cutting inside his right end, going for a gain of 15 yards before he's finally brought down. First and 10 for Notre Dame. They're on their own 46 now. Johnny Latner takes it, tries a cross puck. Stopped after a gain of one yard. Then came a Notre Dame penalty, making it now third down and 16 yards to go for Notre Dame in their own 39-yard line. Tom Carey pitches out to Joe Heap. It's a runner pass option, back to throw. He can't find the target. Finally just gets rid of the ball to Tom Carey. Carey moves backwards and is down. And with all that ball handling, the play wound up losing 12 yards. That makes it fourth down and... 28 yards to go for Notre Dame and they're back on their own 27-yard line and Johnny Latner goes deep in punt formation. Latner kicks from around his own 15 and gets away a terrific kick. High and far, it goes bounding on down the field and it goes out of bounds on the 18-yard line. A beautiful kick by Johnny Latner. Then after a penalty against the Irish, Purdue has the ball now, first and ten on their own 34. Dale Samuels back to throw. His target is his left end, Bernie Flowers. Pass is good. Flowers looking for a spot to lateral. Gets the lateral away. There's a fumble, but Purdue recovers the fumble. And so it's second down and nine as the play gained only a yard. Ball on the Purdue 35-yard line. Samuels with the ball. Back looking for a spot to throw. Can't find the target. He's going to run with that ball, and he's running pretty well. As he hits, he fumbles the ball. Notre Dame recovers his game. Shannon gets it. Notre Dame's ball now first and ten on the Purdue 42-yard line. Notre Dame out in front, 14 to 7. Tom Carey dropping back, looking for a spot to throw. Pitches a quick one to Neil Ward in his fullback. Warden dances his way up the field, goes for a gain of eight yards. Makes it second down and two for Notre Dame, and they're on the Purdue 34. Johnny Latner with the ball, busting over right guard, fumbles it, and this time Purdue gets the ball back. Earl Henninger getting that football, and Purdue takes over first and ten. They have it on their own 27-yard line. Bill Klesek takes the delayed handoff. Gets through the line, goes for a gain of five yards. Second down and five now for the Boilermakers. On their own 32. Rex Brock takes it, tracks over the left side of the line, gets through there for a gain of four yards on the play to make it third down and one yard to go. Ball now out on the Purdue 36-yard line. Notre Dame in front, 14-7. One yard for a first down. Max Schmeling, the fullback, busts his way into the line and makes it. Then three incomplete passes. Made it fourth and ten, and Norm Montgomery was called in to punt, and he sends the ball riding down to the Notre Dame 25, where it's taken by Joe Heap in a fair catch. Then Notre Dame moved up the field, and now we pick them up first and ten, and they're on the Purdue 47. Ralph Guglielmi back to pass. Intended for Heap, it's intercepted by Phil Matea. Matea fumbles the football, and Notre Dame gets it back as Tom Seaman gets the ball for the Irish. First and ten, Notre Dame's ball on the Purdue 37. Ralph Guglielmi back to throw. Sights his target, it's Johnny Latner. There goes the ball, and it is complete. He's in there for a touchdown for Notre Dame. They missed the try for point, and as the half ended, it was Notre Dame 20, Purdue 7.
Football players need safe equipment. Here's another fellow who insists on safety. Careful now. Easy. Hey, that's risky work. What if that wire should break? There's really no danger of that. You see, a tight wire walker uses a specially woven cable. If it has to, it can hold the weight of two tons. I don't feel right just being safe enough. I want my wire to be super safe. Yes, and car owners, you too can be super safe and protect the engine of your car when you buy Phillips 66 heavy-duty premium motor oil. You see, folks, Phillips 66 heavy-duty premium motor oil actually surpasses manufacturer's recommendations for all makes of cars. It's not just a safe enough oil. It's super safe. And that's why Phillips Petroleum Company can make this guarantee. Fill your crankcase with Phillips 66 heavy-duty premium motor oil. Try it for 10 days or up to 1,000 miles. And then, if you aren't satisfied on every count, go to any Phillips 66 dealer and he'll refill your car's crankcase with any other available oil you want at Phillips expense. Now that's how sure we are that this new oil has what your car needs. Be super safe. Get Phillips 66 heavy duty premium motor oil the oil that surpasses manufacturers' recommendations for all makes of cars. And remember, it's guaranteed to satisfy you. It's been a startling first half here at Lafayette, Indiana, with an alert Notre Dame team capitalizing on breaks to grab a 20 to seven halftime lead. Passing yardage is about even at the half, although Purdue has tried almost twice as many throws. It's on the ground that Notre Dame has run up an impressive margin. 91 yards by rushing to only 28 for Purdue. Better than 3 to 1. Now, while the crowd settles back between the halves of this exciting game, we pause to pay tribute this week to Purdue University. Purdue University's chemical and metallurgical building is a prominent structure on the campus. The civil engineering building is the latest in the engineering group of buildings to be completed. Purdue's engineers and graduates have made their careers throughout the nation. And on the first weekend of every May, the alumni return to pay particular honor to John Perdue, founder of the university. Led by the university's majorettes, the alumni from classes as far back as 1882 parade around the campus. In the very beginning, when Perdue's first Havilland Hall was destroyed by fire, the students and president were determined to rebuild it and make it one brick higher. This is the determination that has remained with Purdue. Build one brick higher. Make one engine a little better. Make one world a little finer. This philosophy has manifested itself in the success of the Purdue alumni. And they have set high goals for the present students to achieve and uphold. As the alumni return to the campus, they view old haunts and comment on the many changes incorporated in the vicinity since their absence. The university has long been aware that any specific subject is but an integral part of the whole field of human knowledge. And that fields outside of the student's own contribute to living and to his own field of concentration. Because of this, the university offers more than technology. It offers culture in the form of science, the arts, and education. Each May, when the alumni form a circle around John Perdue's grave and place upon it a wreath, they pay tribute to the man who made Purdue University possible. And now back to the second half of this game as Notre Dame will kick off. Al Kohanovich kicking. He sends the ball looping down to Rex Brock who's waiting for it on the goal line. Brock swings up the field across the 10, 15, hit on the 20. Ball spins out of his grasp and Notre Dame recovers. An absolute repetition of the start of the game. Purdue fumbled the opening kickoff, and they fumbled the kickoff to start the second half. First and ten for the Irish on Purdue's 23. Hand off to Johnny Latner. Cracks right tackle. Doesn't get much. Gain of two yards on the play. Second down, eight yards to go. Notre Dame's ball on the Purdue 21. The Irish in front, 20 to 7. Tom Carey pitches out to Johnny Latner. Swinging wide around to the left with nice blocking in front of him. Latner goes through for a gain of 13 yards before he's finally brought down by Ed Zimbel and Roy Pacer. It's a first down for Notre Dame. First down and goal to go on the Purdue eight-yard line. Hand off to Neil Warden, the fullback. Can't make much. Gets through for a gain of three yards. Second and goal to go. Now on the Purdue five-yard line. 
Tom Carey pitching out again to Johnny Latner, but Latner's in trouble. Earl Henninger breaks through, spills him for the loss of two yards. Purdue held this time, and then after an exchange of punts, it's Purdue's ball first and ten in the route on the Notre Dame 46-yard line. Score still 20-7, to seven, Notre Dame over Purdue. Dale Samuels back to throw. Pegs went out to his end. Tom Redinger complete and out of bounds. A gain of nine yards on the play. Second down and one yard to go now. Boilermakers have the ball on the Notre Dame 37-yard line. Fullback Max Schmeling takes the handoff. Cracks over right tackle. Spilled up in the secondary. He fumbles and Notre Dame recovers again. Jack Whalen got that one. The Irish take the ball first and ten on their own 26-yard line. Johnny Lapner cracking through the middle goes for a gain of three yards. Second down and seven yards to go. Notre Dame's ball. They're on their own 29. Tom Carey with the ball. Back to throw. Sights his target. It's his fullback, Neil Warden. The ball is on its way, and it is complete in a beautiful catch. A gain of 20 yards and a first down for Notre Dame. It's a tough afternoon for Boilermaker coach Stu Holcomb. First and 10 for Notre Dame, and they're on their own 49-yard line. Joe Heap takes the ball, cracks over left guard. Goes through for a gain of five yards. Then Notre Dame was pushed back. And now it's third down and 17 for the Irish on their own 42-yard line. Tom Carey with the ball, back to throw. Can't find a target, they're in on him, and they have him spilled for a loss. A loss of three yards on the play. Makes it fourth down and 20 yards to go. And Notre Dame will kick. Ball on their own 39-yard line, Johnny Latner back. Latner again laces that ball high in the air. Notre Dame has plenty of time to get under it. No chance to run this one back. And it rolls dead on the 33-yard line. Purdue's ball first and 10 on their own 33. Roy Evans is in at quarterback now for the Boilermakers. Evans back looking for a spot to throw. Bernie Flowers is the target. The left end gathers in the ball, gets away from the first tackler and starts rambling up the field. Look at that boy go. Hauled down after a gain of 47 yards. Paul Reynolds caught him from behind. First and 10 for Purdue. Ball on the Notre Dame 20 yard line. Notre Dame in front 20 to 7. Pitch out to Max Schmeling, the fullback. Around wide to the right, he swings around right end. His hit fumbles the ball again, and Notre Dame recovers at the quarter end. It's Purdue 7, Notre Dame 20 at the end of the third quarter. In the fourth quarter, it's now Notre Dame's ball, third down and five yards to go on their own 16-yard line. The handoff goes to Joe Heap. Backs through the right side of the line, cuts back and goes for a gain of nine yards before they finally bring him to a halt. Curtis Jones came in to make the tackle. It's a first down for Notre Dame, first and ten. They've got the ball on their own 25-yard line. Tom McHugh in at fullback for the Irish. Takes the handoff, can't get to the line of scrimmage. Going for a loss of two yards. A penalty on Notre Dame, declined by Purdue, makes it second and 12. Notre Dame's ball on their own 23-yard line. Tom Carey keeps it this time, swings on up the field, running with the ball, he's hit, loses the ball, and Purdue recovers. Ed Zimbel dives with a loose football, and Purdue takes over first and ten. Ball is on the Notre Dame 35-yard line. Don Kuzminski takes the handoff, cracks the left side of the line for a two-yard gain. Makes it second down and eight. 
Purdue has the ball in the Notre Dame 33. Roy Evans is in at quarterback for the Boilermakers. Fading back, looking for a spot to throw. Bernie Flowers is the target. There goes the ball. He has it. Fights his way past the tacklers, and he's going all the way. It's a touchdown for Purdue. Bernie Flowers scores. That makes it 20 to 13 now on our slow motion camera. Let's watch this try for the extra point. Phil Mateo holding. He sets the ball down. Dale Samuels kicks. And the kick is good. Notre Dame 20, Purdue 14. After the kickoff, we find Notre Dame having the ball third down, 15 yards to go. They're on their own 32-yard line. Tom Carey fading back. His right hand, Art Hunter, is in the clear. There goes a long arching forward pass. Hunter has it. He's finally brought down after a gain of 41 yards. It's a first down. Norm Montgomery and Ed Zemble made the tackle. First and 10 for Notre Dame. They're down on the Purdue 27-yard line. Pitch out goes back to Neil Warden. Swinging to the left, he's finally snowed under after an eight-yard gain to make it second down in two. Notre Dame has moved the ball now to the Purdue 19-yard line. Johnny Lattner taking it. Wide to the left he goes, gets around the corner, rolled out of bounds, but not until he had gained seven yards and a first down. First down for Notre Dame. First and ten on the Purdue 12-yard line. Quick jump pass complete to Don Penza. Good for a gain of nine yards. Makes it second down and one yard to go. Ball is on the Purdue two-yard line. And off to Johnny Latner. Cracks right tackle. Can't get over the goal line, but makes the one yard for the first down and goal to go for Notre Dame. First and goal on the one-yard line. Neil Warden takes the handoff, cracks right tackle, gets over for a Notre Dame touchdown. The ball game ended that way, 26 to 14 in favor of Notre Dame as the Irish missed on the try for point. It's a stunning upset and a sobering one to the previously high-riding Boilermakers. Careless ball handling clearly cost them the game as the aggressive Irish defense brought about eight punishing Purdue fumbles. Notre Dame has had its greatest success this year against teams favored to beat them. In the role of underdog, they slapped down Texas and today Purdue. It's been a great performance today and the fans appreciate it. Now here's someone else who appreciates fine performance. A girlie likes to know that she's appreciated when you take her riding in your car. Show her smooth performance. Show her you've got class. Simply fill your tank with Phillips 66 gas. She'll love you for your pickup. She'll adore you for your speed. Cause that Phillips 66 is just the gasoline you need. That's how your gal will know that she's appreciated. Remember it's Phillips. Phillips 66 gas. Phillips 66 can do plenty for you. Get up and go. Your car will go. Fill up with Phillips 66. You keep your motor super fine. Just driving at the Phillips line. Get Phillips 66. Hey. 